In this video, I want to give you some idea of what ancient musical instruments would have been and how these might relate to the musical instruments in the Bible. In the video, Music in the Temple, you can see some of the mentions of those musical instruments and their Hebrew terms. There's a lot we simply don't know. We have found certain musical instruments in archaeological excavations, but some of the terminology is not really clear. And we, of course, don't really know what ancient music sounded like. Musical instruments are attested very early in the ancient world. In the ancient Near East, for example, we have in the 5th millennium BCE, a 3rd millennium BCE, sorry, from Ur, this bull-headed lyre that was found in a tomb complex. Now, a lyre is a particular stringed instrument that has a U-shaped frame. You'll notice that here with a crossbar on top and the strings come down from that crossbar at the top and so are vertical. There's another example of a lyre also from Ur about the same time. And we believe that a Hebrew lyre was called a kinur, a, a larger version, a, a, a nebel or a nebel asur. Sometimes nebel has been translated as harp, but um, archaeologists some argue that since no actual harps have been found in excavations, that probably the Neville is simply a, a larger version of the Kinor or lyre. Notice the related instrument here that was used in the Greek world, and that is the Greek Cathara. Again, you'll notice that there is a U-shaped frame, a crossbar, and then strings running down. This one looks a little bit more like a guitar, and the name kind of sounds like that. Other kinds of musical instruments included those with reeds, something like an oboe or a clarinet. A double reed instrument would be like an oboe, and we do have those attested. And here is a picture of somebody from Egypt playing that kind of instrument. The Hebrew name for a similar instrument is called the halil. That one isn't really mentioned in the context of temple worship. Here are some ancient Egyptian flutes. There are sort of double flutes and there are also single flutes. This is possibly what a Hebrew ugab might have looked like, and it might have been used more in the context of mourning, of funerals. Notice here on the left, the chatzotzera, which is a long silver trumpet used uh, to announce someone's coming. Another kind of trumpet in the Bible is the shofar. These are still used in Jewish worship, particularly on the Day of Atonement. The shofar also was used a lot in military campaigns. It would have been the shofar, 
that is mentioned in the fall of the walls of Jericho. I have posted the sound of the shofar uh, from a YouTube video among the videos to listen to. Another common instrument would have been a hand drum, and there is evidence of those being used in temple worship. Kalatof in Hebrew. Very simple hand drum. This would have been the underside of it. There were other percussion instruments such as rattles. This one is um, probably an Egyptian rattle made of bronze. In Hebrew, they may have been made of clay. And the term we think is mana'anim. Another kind of percussion instrument would have been a pair of clappers. These are also from Egypt. Also, there are symbols that are mentioned in the context of worship. Symbols, of course, are instruments we still use today. Metziltayim or Saltzalim is the Hebrew term.